right, this, I'm gonna show you the transmission place mechanics that rip you off. This, can you see the road? That's, all right, this place right here. Turnersville transmission. Right here, Turnersville transmission. You recognize the number, phone number. This is it looks. Get some water. There you go. <sighs> This is the place. And they've been ripping off people for years and years and they're still in business. I can't believe they're still in business. They got, I believe they got a contract where um, something happens on the road with a car with transmission and they, they pay um, the tow truck person to tell you, oh, I know a good place because they pay the tow truck uh, the money that they're gonna scam you. So the car comes over here and, and most likely, um, if it has a transmission job, if they, it, you know, because you could do certain things to transmission where you can make it last for another 50 or 30,000 miles by changing oil and put some slick stuff in there. But they'll charge you for rebuilding your whole entire transmission and they did and they just put some slick 50 or something in there um, to keep, to, you know, change it with that. And so it could last another 30 or 20,000 miles or even 12. My only last, my uh, never had no problem. So my mechanic, which is Sal, which I don't go to him anymore. He ripped me off again with alternator. I finally proved that he's a crook. So him, Sal, with here, the guy's name Pete. He looks like one of those um, guys from a cartoon character, Mr. Good Boy, good, goody, goody, good goody boy or something like that <laughs> good doll or whatever but he um you know talk to you and, and, with, and with the mechanics that he talks to that they, they do the scam because he got mechanics to send you people over here he has um tow trucks to send you over here so he could rip you off and then with the money that he makes on ripping you off he pays those guys a percentage and he keeps a percentage and and they, they every time you come here it's always the same thing they gotta they gotta take your transmission out and rebuild it it's never like they could just fix something simple mine all was with my mechanic you know what and i was trying to figure that out myself because i fix cars myself but you know i'm older i'm 54 so i said like let, i'm gonna let mechanics do it because i'm I didn't want to deal with it. I, I just wanted to get it fixed and keep on working and making money. But because I always fix my own cars, which I'm now I'm, I'm back to doing it again. I, even though I'm 54, I'm buying, I, I got, I'm buying jacks and everything. I got stuff set up at my house where I don't take my cars to mechanics anymore because they ripped you off. They're, it's like a, all of them are out there to rip you off. All of them. I'm telling you, they are. Some just do more than more than others, like these, like Pete and Sal. Oh, they'll rip you off. They'll tell you, "Oh, look, we found something, and I need six hundred dollars more for the part." Nothing's wrong with the part, but they say they found it. They charge you the six hundred dollars, or thousand, or fifteen hundred, whatever they charge you. Like me, they right here, Pete charged me three thousand six hundred, and all he did is grease my wheel bearing. On the wheel bearing where the wheel goes we're connected with the dry shaft connects to right there's you take the dry shaft off right there by the wheel and there's bearings on there when your wheels turn around all he did is pull grease charged me three thousand six hundred dollars because when I got the car back I checked it none of the bolts in my uh, in my engine on my Honda fit had no bolts None of the bolts were even touched. They're still there with the factory seal. And the transmission still got a factory seal that's connected to the engine. Once you break that seal, either you gotta buy a new one from the factory, which they don't do. They usually pull some kind of, uh, uh, um, you know, aftermarket uh, gasket 
and then they put a black caulking to it because they had because it's not a the same one as the factory so then they put this black caulking in there that we heat in time it'll cure you know hard as a uh, as a brick or, or steel it's, it's just a it's almost like a um, a fiberglass type of seal that goes on there so um it did none of that still everything i mean the engine is and then when the, all the time it can it works on the engine they leave fingerprints and grease and they don't clean the engine they put it back together stuff and then give you the car then they don't go in there wash your engine <laughs> my car still had um the transmission looked like they didn't have no fingerprints nowhere where he even took it out all the parts under it, none of it the only thing that was taken out that he left fingerprints on was my wheel my tire when it took out the tire <laughs> fingerprints on the dry shaft that he pulled out and then fingerprints and everywhere where he pulled grease on my wheel bearing because he didn't even change the wheel bearing all he did is put grease on it and then the noise went away but that's what it was it was a wheel bearing uh, uh, um, sound uh, and and it was just you know it was radiating for this car for some reason it sounds like it came, you know you could listen to the transmission it sounds like it's coming from the transmission but what it was is it was it was traveling from a dry shaft to the transmission and it sounded like it was inside the transmission but it was actually on my wheel wheel bearing and that's it and and they ripped me off and my mechanic now I'm taking him to court I'm taking Pete to court um once I proved the uh uh my mechanic uh scam me from there uh I got the paperwork for him that he sent me to this guy and they scam me for my transmission and I could, and, and, um, if, uh, Honda, I got a, um, appointment with Honda dealership. They're going to put the, um, you know, the uh, plug in there for the computer. Every time this transmission is, uh, you know, it has a mileage like indicator on, the, on, on the module. The transmission comes out, you put it back in, you have to put it in a computer to reset and, and say that you, that you changed the, um, something in the transmission and it has to match the mileage of the car so the transmission and the car both have to have the same mileage so it won't start slipping on you so the computer is going to say that the transmission was never changed so now once i get that i'm bringing take it to court i'm going to sue him for the money he got me and for time of labor because i do a little bit lift and uh, over for not be able to drive my car well nothing was wrong with transmission in the, well in the first place but the um he's gonna they're gonna pay me for downtime well my sal is gonna pay me for my uh you know sal in glassboro it's gonna pay for my uh time down because he never changed my alternator i had to buy an alternator from the dealership which that, at the time they're the only one who was carrying it because uh, Advanced Auto, AutoZone, none of them had it. Um, so then um, they're going to change. Uh, so I'm going to sue him for that because I had I did it myself. I changed the alternator. But I went to the dealership, bought the alternator, and, I, and he never changed mine. So he's going to have to pay me money for not changing my alternator. I paid him $605 for a new alternator, which he never put in here. Well, he never bought it. He never did the job, so he charged me for the six hundred and five and six hundred dollars to put it in. Which all, all the car did is sat there. He did something to make it last for a week, and then I drove the car. After after a week, it died. And I check in there, and I said it was the same alternator. And then the uh, Honda dealership even uh, has, um, you know, has proven to me that the alternator in my car was still from the factory. It has never been changed. So I got all that proof. I'm gonna take that to court. There's a go to don't go to Sal in Glassboro, and then go to Pete here in Turnersville. Turnersville Transmission. They will rip you off, guarantee. All right, later.